Welcome back everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Windows machine with Visual Studio 2017 for Xamarin. All right, so let's just get into it. All you have to do is go to visualstudio.com. And when you come here, you're gonna be able to select your edition of Visual Studio. Uh, I have Enterprise, but uh, you can use the free community edition. Everything I'm gonna show you here applies uh, to whatever version of Visual Studio install. So if I wanna install Enterprise, I can go ahead and hit download. This will download a very small uh, file for me uh, to wherever I wanna put. For here, I'll just put it on my desktop. Now, when you run this, it's essentially gonna bring up this Visual Studio installer. Now, I've already installed Visual Studio, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And here, I'm just gonna hit Modify. This is actually a really cool part of Visual Studio 2017, is that you're now able to essentially add and remove features at any time. So here is our modify, and this is what you're gonna see when you run the Visual Studio uh, installer. You're gonna see these new things called workloads. Let me go ahead and zoom in really quick here. That's like, that's what we want, the full screen here. Now workloads are essentially parts of development that you wanna do with all of the dependencies that are required. Now this is my machine setup. I do a lot of development in a lot of different areas of web development, Azure, data, and ASP.NET Core, and, and Xamarin development. So it's, it's quite lengthy and big install. Now by default, everything will be unchecked. And if you choose to install just Visual Studio, it will install in under four minutes. It's crazy fast. I think it's like 400 megs or something like that. Now here I've selected UWP and .NET Desktop Development. So des des .NET Desktop will give me WPF, WinForms, and things like that. Uh, under web and cloud, we see ASP.NET I've selected, Azure and data. So I'll do a lot of SQL uh, server and Azure data lake integration. And then down here under mobile and gaming, there's Xamarin, mobile development with .NET. Your first choice, basically the number one choice that you wanna have here. So when you select Xamarin here in this workload, it'll actually show you a summary on the right hand side. So we can see that it's gonna uh, not only install some required things such as Xamarin, .NET 461, C Sharp, and .NET Portable Library. It'll also install Workbooks, Profiler, the Simulator, Android SDK, Java SDK, Android Emulators, F Sharp support, uh, this Intel hardware, uh, Hacksome Acceleration, UWP, and, and Windows 10 Mobile Emulators if you want. And you can see that you can actually uncheck these. So you're like, I'm not really interested in you know, these different emulators and I can remove and, and modify and make these, the installer a little bit smaller. Under other tool sets, I, I also would encourage to do .NET Core, which will allow you to develop .NET standard libraries that can be shared, uh, ASP.NET Core applications and .NET Core applications. Those can also be opened over on Visual Studio for Mac, uh, which is in preview today. Uh, and you can do your development both in Visual Studio 2017 and over here. And that's it. When you hit install, it'll download everything. My entire install of all my workloads that I have installed was downloaded and installed in under 30 minutes, which is spectacular. And I installed a lot of workloads that you see here. Now at any point, you can actually get back to the screen. If you just type in Visual Studio Installer, once Visual Studio is installed, this will relaunch the installer experience so you can add and remove workloads extremely fast. So here we go. Now once it's installed, you can of course launch Visual Studio uh, Enterprise. Here's what I have, or it'll say Community Edition. It, it, if you've already installed Visual Studio, it'll have you log into your account. You can see I'm logged in in the top right here. There's a few nice additions that I like to install. If you go to Tools, Extensions, and Updates, I'll show you what I have installed here. This is a nice portal where we've partnered with tons of different companies all over the globe. Some things that I've installed, such as the Editor Config Language Service, I've installed the GitHub uh, extension here. Uh, that actually brings in a lot of nice uh, GitHub support right on my desktop. And then you can see, of course, Xamarin is now installed. We have Xamarin Forms templates, we have Xamarin for Visual Studio, and the different SDKs. So now what's nice is I can come in and say File, New Project. And when you have Xamarin installed, you'll see Android, tvOS, iOS, uh, tvOS is Apple TV applications, and cross-platforms. And that will set up a cross-platform Xamarin Forms or Xamarin Native app. I can of course come in and select a blank, let's say Android application, we'll do a single view application, instead of blank app, because that's just really blank, and just hit okay. Now, to do iOS development, you'll need to be connected to your Mac at some point uh, to deploy to a simulator or an emulator or things like that. But for Android, we can do everything right here. Now by default in Visual Studio 2017, 
we install the Intel Haxum virtualized emulators. We install about four of them here between phone and tablet. And when I zoom in, what we can see is that I have ARM and x86. The x86 are the really fast ones. Um, based on if your uh, machine can handle the uh, Intel Haxum uh, emulators. Now, if you still have Hyper-V installed, you can still install the Visual Studio Hyper-V Android emulators. Uh, else, uh, if you have Hypervisor turned off, uh, you'll want to go ahead and try to launch these Visual Studio x86. I additionally have another Xamarin show, Snack Pack Edition, showing you how to do that. But here's just how fast that was when I hit debug, and it already has my emulator up and running. It's super fast and, of course, uh, touchscreen responsive as well. So now, file, new application. This uh, Android uh, uh, device uh, or deployment here will give us a default page uh, with a button that I can click on. So here's the application. It's launched. And go ahead and click it multiple times. And that's it. It's just that easy to get started installing Visual Studio 2017 for Xamarin development. Hope that you found this helpful, and I'll put some links in the show notes for some optional things that I recommend you try out with Visual Studio. Until next time, I'm James, and this is The Xamarin Show.